Now, every time I press play, we always have the same Iron Man character, this red robot. Now, when you're in multiplayer, you cannot spawn a red robot all the time. You need to change costumes or even need to change characters. Now, there are many ways to change characters. One way would be that every time you select a different player, so you can have a list of players, and I will show you later on how to do that. But the simplest way, and many games do that, the majority of games do that, they change the colors of the characters. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. All right, so first of all, we need to create the new materials. Why? Because this character is using a material. How do I know that? Well, if you click on the Iron Man prefab and you start scrolling down, oops, all right, so start scrolling down, you will see the Iron Man shader here. You guys see that here? All right, and this basically is saying what it's using. And I want to do is uh, change this material to a different material. And I don't have the other material, so I need to create them. Now, in my project, I'm going to locate this Iron Man material. Go to the Iron Man folder, and then you will see the Iron Man.fbm. I'm going to click there, and I see the Iron Man palette that's used for the material. And going back to the Iron Man, I see the materials folder. If I double click here, I see the Iron Man material right here using the palette that I just showed you inside of the FBM file. So, by the way, remember earlier we added a bunch of palettes? If you go to Assets, you will see the palettes here. So that's the first palette that's already used. Then you have the second palette, the third palette, and the fourth palette. So what's a palette? It's basically the colors that the character can only use. And there's about 256 uh, colors only, meaning that by changing the colors on the palette, you can change the final look of Iron Man. So feel free to just like right click, reveal in Finder, and then you can like open that and edit this with any of your favorite web browsers or even any uh, paint like Photoshop. Why? So that you can just change the colors here. And by changing the colors, you're going to create your own costumes without even having to create anything else. That's great, right? Okay, having said that, I'm going to go back and create my new materials. I'm going to the Iron Man materials folder and I'm going to duplicate this one. Now, the easiest way to duplicate is click on the Alt key down, press the Alt key down or the Option key down and just drag, drag and drop it below. And you see the plus sign that appears? Just put it there. So that's one way of doing that and that's going to basically duplicate that. Okay? And it says Iron Man 1. So I'm going to right click and call it Iron Man 2. Now, Another way to do this, I'm going to right click and do Reveal in Finder. And inside of the Finder, what you got to do is just take the material and right click and duplicate or copy and paste as new. And I'm going to rename this one as Iron Man 3. Okay. And while I'm still there, I'm going to cre create a fourth one. So right click, duplicate and Iron Man 4. All right. So now I have my four material. As soon as you go back to Unity, guess what happens? They all are here, but as you can see, they are all using the same palette on the right side. So I got to change the palettes. I'm going to select the Iron Man 2 and inside of the inspector, I see the Albedo palette here. I'm going to click here and select a different one. Okay. So right here, I'm going to select the Iron Man 2. There it is. Now going back to the materials for the Iron Man 3, I'm going to select the Iron Man 3 palette. All right. And then in the Iron Man 4, I'm going to select the Iron Man 4 palette. All right. And as you can see, if you scroll and you go to 1, 2, 3, 4, you can see the colors of the palette are changed. So the ball here changes colors, right? So it doesn't seem like much. But, you know, when Iron Man uses different textures, then you will definitely see that. All right. Now, in the next lecture, I'm going to write the code to use these new materials.